So I still encounter uh, this nihilism that seems to arise from people seemingly not understanding special relativity or having not bothered to uh, look this up in the first place, probably. Uh, but what they do is they have this notion that everything is disappearing, that everything is somehow uh, not worth it in the end. So it, it's a sort of a nihilistic move that their mind t tends to make. But And so the nihilism itself is a symptom of... of a broader problem that the person finds themselves in, right? And therefore, their recourse is to think nihilistically. But, um, so I'm not saying this is the solution to uh, nihilism itself, but I'm saying that one particular move that nihilists can make within uh, our current sort of informational newosphere, our, our mental sphere uh, that we inhabit in today's informationally crowded world and uh, post-enlightenment world in general is that people tend to gravitate towards th some notion that science or the aesthetic of science s somewhere in that realm of of that aesthetic uh, there exists justification for their nihilism that there exists some sort of um, truth that they can access and this truth reveals that everything withers that the universe expands into nothingness and that somehow this is a justification for their feeling of nihilism because after all they are going to vanish and they will not be judged they will not be subjected to the praise and blame that would perhaps get them to do the things that they would otherwise do if they actually were being watched right it's after you uh, discover that you are not being watched uh, and that all your actions are, are just vanishing away into nothingness, seemingly, um, that you stop uh, holding yourself to high standards. However, it turns out that special relativity actually implies that eternalism is true due to relativity of simultaneity. So you have different frames of reference, and a pair of events that you might think are simultaneous may not be simultaneous from another frame of reference. So what that implies is eternalism. Otherwise, special relativity is wrong. However, special relativity is not wrong. It has been experimentally verified by observing time dilation, by observing length contraction. These are things which for a very long time we've known are true. But people seemingly can't uh, bother to connect the dots all the way to it implying eternalism. Uh, because I guess that just requires a lot more of just sitting down and actually thinking about the implications of it. Um, but it's true, right? You, you are actually being recorded in, in that sense. Everything that ever happens is forever. It's just there. and. And so perhaps that doesn't completely remove your nihilism because you might think, well, um, they're still, I'm, not still, I'm still not being subjected to an ultimate process of uh, praise or blame in the way that, you know, a, a sky daddy that people might have invented in the past or still some invent uh, in their minds to rein them in into these agriculturalist values um, would help, right, to continue in, in, a, in a sort of conscientious mode of behavior as opposed to a sort of free-roaming and more nomadic form of behavior. However, um, I, I think that even if it doesn't help in that ultimate sense, it might at least help a little to understand that uh, the universe isn't actually obeying some, some sort of ticking clock that is that applies everywhere and is sweeping forward. Instead, you you just have everything happening forever, and that's just physically what is true. Uh, 